What was that? It's a little bit nerve wracking. <laughs> right, what's up, you guys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. You join me at the Nurburgring here in Germany. I know the last time I spoke to you guys, I just picked up my 930 Turbo, which I'm absolutely delighted to have back. The car is better than ever, but I'm gonna have to park her up for a couple of weeks because we are now officially in silly season. We have got event to event to event. Starting here, well actually I was in Spain yesterday and then I flew straight here to the Nürburgring because I'm working with Falcon this weekend. Every year they have a big dealer event which I'm hosting for them and also the drift show which I do the commentary for. James is currently in Florida which is where I'm actually trying to head to tomorrow. As soon as I finish this event it's straight to the airport then I'm heading to Orlando Speedway to see if I can catch him for his race day. But we're going to start here. I'm just starting my prep. I'm just going to kind of bring you along uh, on a bit of a vlog style, just kind of show you what I do for a job outside of making YouTube videos because it is so hectic. That's one of the reasons why I struggle to get videos out to you because I'm just constantly darting around. And like I said, we're about to head into silly season. I think we've got 10 weekends on a row now where we're doing something to do with motorsport. Or I'm working, presenting, or I'm in America or here, there, everywhere. So I'm going to just try and show you a little bit of what my life is like outside of making videos with the cars. So I've been doing my prep. I need to go in for a rehearsal right now. It's a really cool location where they do this event. It's right in the museum. I've never actually been here before, so I'll give you a little bit of a walk around and show you inside here. And now I better go meet the guys because I need to go see if my, my words are actually correct before I speak to a lot of people about tires. Bump. So last year, this is where they had the big dinner where they had all of the dealers. It's so cool, so much motorsport history here. And the cars, and just this event alone is one of my favorite ones on the calendar. It's so crazy. Like, there's over 260,000 people descend on this place. I think it's something like 75 million people watch it across like all the different platforms online, here, there, everywhere. It's crazy. I wish I had time to stay. Like the actual 24 hour race, if you stay and go into the woods and just sort of hang out with everybody, have a party, watch the racing at nighttime, it's class. But work helps. Let's go this way. I feel like I'm just. All right. Welcome to a work day. How quickly can you? Can you actually? You reckon you could limbo up? Anyway, some very cool things in here. Exhibit A, DTM. 93 BMW M3 E30 class. I think this is actually one of my all time favourite cars. Like, I always wanted to own an E30 M3. Are you an E30 person, are you? E30 M3 person, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're class, but I always find when you're doing events like this, like, the excitement is slight nerves because you're just like, what's going to happen mm -hmm. next? Are we doing the dinner in here? Are mm. we doing this? Last year, they had these, like, drummers. I walked out and there was, like, these, like, six women with big drums going, ah! And I was like, whoa, big drums, big drum girls. <laughs> and one of my favorite things, when you're actually at the 24 hour race, like when you hear the GT cars, the AMGs, they have such a particular noise, you can hear them. I'm, just, I'm not gonna do the impression. These cars now are like, you could get an AMG GT, not GTR. I think they're about 50 grand now. Mm -hmm. Imagine a kit. A we could do kit. this this bear, but your face is the bear. Ooh. I'm about it. Really iconic cars. Yeah. I didn't even know what that was. You were like, oh, that's a little. I'll let you. I'll let you take this one. This is, this is your vehicle height is low. Vehicle height is very low. Arch is big. Wheel is wide. Mirror small. Small. Wing big. <laughs> What's not to like? It is cool. Here's the stage for this evening. So I'll have all the eight drivers. So there's two teams. There's team 33, team 44, and there's eight drivers. And I've got most of them locked in, but we'll be doing some interviewing here. This is a, I mean, they're really famous people to do with track. Juan Manuel Fangio. A bit moss here. Yeah. So, but what, what's he doing? Like? Just the pose. Yeah? What would be your pose? <laughs> I like Schumacher's. He's like mid-air. He's just... It's like a skip. You've got a tattoo of him on your arm. 
There he is. It looks a bit like Frost if you move it that way. <laughs> Do you a little like face-to-face -face likeness? It'll pass. It'll pass. <laughs> oh, another E30. Another little E30 in here. Very nice. I mean, just perfect. the rehearsal it's all good I just need to make sure that I can spit my words out and look great on stage so, uh, we've got Mr. Hidekazu's Nishiguchi with us who is at the very top of Sumitomo Tires that owns Falcon um, great guy great guy this is really fun to be around but I just need to make sure I have everything spot on I need to eat I'm hungry we're gonna go down and get some curryverse because whenever I'm here, there's this particular cafe that I like to go to, and the curryverse is beautiful. Let's go. Okay, we are ready to go. I've just pinned my hair up for a minute to keep the curls in it. Fraser's about to drop me off. The sun has come out. So it has been kind of grey for. Pretty much since we got here, but the sun is starting to come out, it's getting warm. It's been every bit of weather. It's an urban rain, that's what happens. Yeah. They don't call it the green hell for nothing, <laughs> Fraser. 73 turns, 20.8 kilometers, How many? and 300 meters elevation oh. across the course of the track. She's an expert, ladies and gentlemen. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready to go do this. I wasn't really nervous before these jobs because it's just like, oh, what happens if we just mess it up? You Your just... tires are good. <laughs> and like cool and stuff. And now to the stage. <laughs> so we're gonna go, uh, go get myself settled now and just job one, do the hosting bit, do that bit. Then job two, run up to the commentary box. I think Fraser's gonna come with me. Managed to get him to come jump on the mic because Fraser is niche knowledge expert about drifting. So it'll be good to have his input. Just have to <laughs> stop him from talking too much. He'll be like, remember in? 1993 when actually becky <laughs> the unit that john performance had when kuma kubo won the d1 gp in 2006 <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly and then back downstairs at half nine to do the interviews with the drivers um and then at that point we're gonna have to run straight in the car get ourselves to frankfurt airport you're right there you're indicating i'm having a great time driving left hand drive it's great fun it's quite funny and this car is totally normal Oh, no, not clear enough. Anyway, look, before we land ourselves out on the main strip here, back a minute. How was that? It's okay. It's a little bit nerve-wracking. I forgot what it's like to speak in front of 450 people. There's a lot of people <laughs> in this room. I Just finished the We're now running to the commentary box with me and Fraser. I'm stressed. I'm wearing a dress and heels. My hair's going everywhere. But it's fine. I, I find this job so funny because it's like three types of presenting. It's like it's public speaking, then it's commentary, and then it's like live Q and A with drivers. So I'm just like trying to switch mode for a second. And I was getting lost because this place is like a maze. Sun is out. So that's people on the track. It's very cool. I love it. One hour later. Text saying we need to run to the next thing. Well, we're going to the next thing. This is as fast as my Louis Vuitton boots can go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no, because I'm going to walk in there like the next person to turn you up. <laughs> Same results with our team 44 in 4th feet and team 33 in 10th position. We are going to be joined by team. 33 right now. So, once you come to the stage, please. Here we are. All right, then, guys, that was my trip to Germany. It's been a whirlwind once again. 
where have I moved from there? I went straight from Germany to Florida, saw James compete at Formula Drift Orlando, which had an amazing resort. He came second there. And then we took a week off and now we're back in Ireland. I've been to the UK for a hot second, went home, repacked, washed everything, 24 hours there. Now we're back in Ireland. It's time for Mandelo Park. It's round two of the Drift Masters Championship. And I am, I'd like, am I, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I've had a sleep, I've washed my hair, I've repacked my bag. It's going to be a hectic, hectic few weeks. The next 12 weeks now is just one country after another for the next 12 weeks. So I'm going to try and keep up with some behind the scenes videos. This weekend, we're going to shoot a video of what it's like to be a presenter at Driftmasters. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. And it's going to be, it's going to be a busy one. It's going to be a busy one. See you soon. Bye.